Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can finally add a weapon into your game because as of right now we are just a set of oh, sorry, a character and a pair of hands that's walking around well quite literally empty handed. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to get a weapon in there, it's going to be an AK-47. Um, one thing that you guys do need to do before you do start off the video is go ahead and download the project files from my website. It's hub.com and then inside of the first person shooter resources you should have these files one for the ak-47 model itself and then you've got the diffuse the normal and the specular as well we're going to be importing all of that in today's video and getting that weapon in the player's arms now one other thing that i wanted to do before we do go any further is actually um just fix up our blend space a little bit so what i mean by that is when i start walking forwards and then release that button you can see it really quickly flicks back to our idle it doesn't look smooth and it just doesn't look great. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of fade between the two animations and that's all done inside of my walk run blend space. So if I go ahead and set my interpolation time to 1, that's just pretty much going to fade between the walk run and the idle, it just makes things so much smoother. So once you've done that, just go ahead and close it, press play and now when you walk forwards and let go you can see it's got this nice fade as opposed to like a dirty flicker. So, moving on, let's go ahead and import this weapon into our game. So, what I'm going to do for now is go into my blueprints folder, and I'm going to go straight out to the main bit here, and then I'm going to create another folder for weapons. So, I'm going to open that up, and inside of there, inside of my weapons folder, I'm going to create another one, and I'm just going to call this... Um, AK-47. Once we've done that, open it up, and then from there, if we go ahead and grab our OBJ file now, just drag this into your scene, just like that, and then we need to make sure this is imported as a skeletal mesh, as we're going to be doing some stuff to it later on, and then don't worry about setting the skeletal mesh, just leave that completely blank. By leaving it blank, it's going to create one using this mesh for us, which is exactly what I want it to do, and then just go ahead and press import. Give it a couple of seconds, it will load up, and then once it has loaded up, all we're going to be doing is, don't worry about this, all we're going to be doing is simply grabbing these textures now and just dropping that into our scene as well. So give it a couple of seconds to import those. It's just the free text, just diffuse, normal and specular. Using these materials or these textures, it's just going to allow us to give a little bit of extra life to our weapon. It's going to give it color, depth and all of that good stuff. Now, by default, it would have created this AK-47 material. It just doesn't look that great. So we're actually going to be deleting that. So what I'm going to do is quickly delete this and then we're going to make another material for our weapon and I'm going to show you how to quickly set up your normal, your diffuse and your specular. So right click in your content browser and create a new material. And then with this material, just call it AK47 underscore mat. Open it up and then once you're in here, go ahead and press T to create a texture sample or right click and just type it in. It's entirely up to you. And then with this first one, I am going to be using the diffuse. And then just go ahead and hook the top little node up here to the base color. And this is going to give us a base color for our AK-47. So now you can see we've got our wood, we've got our metal, and that's all good. And then if you select the normal map and then press T, so basically if you select an asset in your content browser, then press T, it's going to automatically bring in that specific texture, which is great. So do the same thing for your normal. You can see we've got that there. And then do the same thing for your specular as well. And now all we've got to do is just hook these up to the right little nodes here. So my normal goes into my normal and then my specular goes into my specular, and it's as simple as that. Now, you guys could fiddle around with the roughness and the metallic values if you want to make it look a little bit prettier. It's entirely up to you, but for now, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I think this is going to be just fine. So go ahead and apply those changes, and then what we're going to do now is go over to my AK-47 skeletal mesh, open it up and make sure the weapon has come in. Now, as of right now, with this model is standing upright, it's not too much of an issue as we're gonna be playing around with a socket and creating a pose for this. But what I do wanna do is just quickly check over the weapon. You might wanna turn your camera speed down as it's just so you can be a bit more careful. Just make sure there's no clipping, no intersecting um, polygons or anything like that. Um, but once again, I have checked this model, so you guys should have no issues with it at all. So. 
One thing that we do need to do with this is we actually need to quickly set a material for it. Now setting material is all done on the left hand side on the asset details. Just go to material slots and then all we're going to do is set this to AK47 underscore mat. Give it a couple of seconds to uh, compile the shaders and you will get that on your weapon. So just make sure this is all updated over here. So if we open this up. It's compiling shaders at the bottom there and that's why you can't see it and that's why it's still that color. Give it a couple more seconds and it will come to life. As soon as we've seen the material is working on the weapon all good, we will move on to how we can actually turn this into a weapon that's going to be spawned in the game. So it's got 10 shaders left, should take a couple more seconds and we're all good. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to move that to my second screen or you can just close it, it's entirely up to you. Actually, there we go. It's all loaded up. So now you can see that we've got our weapon here. We've got the wooden uh, back bit, the handle and the front. That's all good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on getting this into the game. So we've got the physical side of the weapon all set up. That's fine. So let's get it into the game. So what we've got to do is create a new blueprint class. And this blueprint class is going to contain all of the information for that weapon. So this is going to be where we're adding all the code in for firing the weapon, animating the weapon, and all of that good stuff. So just right click in your content browser, add an actor class, and then just call this um, weapon underscore base for now. Sorry, so right click, rename, and set this to weapon underscore base. Now, the reason why I'm not actually gonna be creating this as something like AK47 underscore weapon is because I'm gonna be setting up in what sort of a template first. So basically, if I wanna add in another weapon later on, say something like an M4A1, all I've gotta do is just copy this weapon base and then I just change the model and it's as simple as that. So for now, let's just go ahead and open this up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the AK-47 skeletal mesh in there for now. So just drop the skeletal mesh in there. And then for the mesh on the right hand side, just set this to AK. And that is going to bring in our weapon. So compile that and let's just go ahead and close this up now. So next thing that we need to do now then is actually give the engine a way to know where we want to place it in our game. So the way we're going to be doing this is actually with our character. We've got to create a socket for that weapon to be attached to. So open up your SWAT character skeleton. So for me that is over here in my skeletal mesh. And then if I go ahead and, go ahead and hop over to my skeleton, inside of here we need to socket it to a part of a body. Now, for us, the most easiest place and probably the best place to socket it to is going to be the right hand. It's where they're always going to be holding that weapon. So on your left hand side in your skeletal tree, just navigate down to your right hand, right click, and then from there, just add a socket. Once you've done this, just call it weapon underscore base or weapon underscore attach even. And then with this, what we're going to do is we're going to right click it now and add a preview mesh. And this preview mesh is pretty much going to allow us to um, define how the weapon's going to look, sort of the placement, the scale, and all of that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is set it to the AK mesh here. Now, the only issue with this at the moment is you can see this is absolutely massive. It's way too big. So we need to play around with the scale and all of that good stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is I need to set a preview animation so I can see how this is actually going to be held in the game. So up at the top where you've got your details, just switch to preview scene settings. And then from here for the animation, we're just going to set this to the idle just to preview it for now. So go ahead and check in your idle animation, uh, idle underscore aiming even. And then with this, you can see our, our gun is all over the place. It's way too big and it's off for the rotation and everything. So what I'm going to do is simply first things first, I'm going to rotate it so it's facing the right way. Just use these transformation tools at the top here. So just rotate it onto the side and then just flip it up and make it face forwards with the weapon. So aim it down a little bit. Now it can take a little bit of time to do this section. Um, once you have done it, it's really, really simple to just move it around. Obviously, if you have the right scale, it's going to be a lot easier as well. So just scale this down a bit. And then with this, just go ahead and drag it into our hands just like this. Now, you don't necessarily have to get it 100% perfect right now. Um, you can always play around with that later on in the video, but what I am going to try and do, however, is simply line up my hands and also my little trigger for the gun as well. So you can see the character's got his trigger finger here. Just try and slot that through there 
and then for the hands try and get that in there as well so let's see if I can get down aim it down a little bit for me I think that's going to be just about okay there now we can play around with the scale and stuff later on it's something you guys can do in your free time but for me that looks like my character's holding a weapon and that's exactly what I want so now that I've done this we need to focus on actually getting this weapon spawned into the game now so you go ahead and close this and then with our character so for me that's going to be our third person character open that up and then inside of here, we need to do a little bit of script to actually spawn that into our game. So go into your event graph, ignore the take damage stuff if you've got that open already. And what we've got to look for is our begin play. Now, as of right now, we've got some heads up display stuff in there. Just completely ignore that and just go after this. Now, pretty much all the time, our heads up display is going to be added in there. So we can just do it after that. It's hooked up to begin play anyway. And then from this, what we're going to be doing is spawn actor from class. And then with this spawn actor, what we're going to be doing is pretty much spawning in that blueprint actor that we created earlier for our weapon. So with the class, obviously, we're going to be setting this down to AK47, so or weapon underscore base. So weapon underscore base, just go ahead and select this. And then with this, what we're going to be doing is grabbing our spawn transform and just type in make transform. And what this is going to do is just give us some zero values for location, rotation, and scale. We don't need to change it from here because what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be attaching all of this stuff to a component as opposed to the normal make transform. So drag out your return value and then just type in attach to component. And then the component that we're after is going to be our mesh. So get a reference to our mesh. And then for our socket, all we're going to do is set this to weapon. And then that should be underscore attach. Make sure you've got the socket name 100% perfect. Otherwise, it will not work. So if we go ahead and open up um, our character and our skeleton, just go ahead and double check that. So open up your SWAT character, go into the skeleton just from the little thing up here. And then just check that our socket is called weapon underscore attach. That is all good for me. So I'm going to close this now and I'm going to close my SWAT character and go back to my third person character. And you can see as of right now, there's no weapon in there because we haven't begun playing the game. However, if we go ahead and press play now, you can see we've got our weapon in our hand. We can walk around with our AK-47 and it looks really, really good. Now, bear in mind, you have got a little bit of clipping where our camera goes through the weapon a little bit. But that's a really easy fix. And you can see our hand placement is also a little bit off as well. But once again, that's just entirely down to the way that we've got our socket set up. You can play around with that. It's really, really simple. So once again, all you got to do is to just go into our skeleton, open up our SWAT character, head over to skeleton. And then if we set the idle animation as the preview, all you've got to do is just adjust this. If you wanted to, you can even do that in real time. So if I press play real quick, and now with this window open as well, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and select the socket. So let me show you how you can do that. So if I scroll down and then grab my weapon attach, if I now move this around, so move it left or right, it's going to move the weapon in the game as well, which is quite nice. So I'm going to move this down a little bit, just pop it in the hand there, press close, and there we go. And you can see our weapon is being held a little bit better. Now, bear in mind, this weapon is not made for this rig. So the placement is going to be off slightly a little bit, but it's not too much to worry about. But for now, we have got our weapon in the game. Now, just a quick fix for the clipping that you're going to have with your weapon that you saw earlier. All you've got to do is go into your project settings. So go to project settings and then give it a couple of seconds to load up. And then all we've got to do is change something called the near clipping plane. So basically, when an object is near to the camera, it's going to clip through it and it's going to get rid of some of the polygons. We don't want that. So all we're going to do is go into our general settings, which is somewhere. So if we just scroll down to engine, general settings, scroll down and it's near clip plane, the one over here. Set this to one instead. And then if we go ahead and close that and restart the engine, it's going to get rid of all of our clipping. But for now, you can see we've got our weapon in the game. We can walk around with it, but we can't shoot. 
As for shooting, that's going to be something that we take care of in a later video. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for getting our weapon in game. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.